Hey, how's it going? We got us a Celstron Nexstar 130 SLT here with a, a GPS on it, and then we have that go to. I put videos on with a Nikon D5100. Tonight, I've got a D600 full frame that we're going to be uh, checking this out with. We got the uh, uh, star tracking on. We'll be concentrating on the moon. I want to see if how well a full frame camera will work on there. The hookup is the exact same as the one that I put a video on with the Nikon. This piece here is all a person needs and then a T adapter to plug into a Nikon and it slides down over if you don't really know. I got videos on somewhere hooking a DSLR up to it. We're going to go ahead and get some footage. Alright, first up here is a 25 millimeter lens. I got the ISO on a thousand. This camera you can adjust your frames in your ISO. I'm going to go ahead and turn it ISO up here. It's 1600 ISO. Again, 25 millimeter lens. Right here's the 12 and a half millimeter. It's, uh, I'm going to end up digitally zooming here after a bit just to see how close and clear we can get. I'll turn the ISO up or down. I'm at 2500 ISO right now. Right there, 16, 1600 ISO. Now it's windy out, so any little movement of the telescope, it's going to shake. I can't stop it. If it wasn't windy out at all, I could get it to stop shaking, but... Pretty nice for a 12.5 millimeter. All right, now we're sitting on a 9 millimeter lens, ISO 4140, the shutter speed. I'm gonna try to drop it down a little here, and then we'll zoom in digitally. Like I said, the wind blowing here, it's uh, pretty hard to keep this thing steady. Alright, this is a 6 millimeter lens. You notice that little bright spot in the middle. I had this on my other camera as well, the 5100 with this lens. I think it's how the camera cocks down a little on a telescope, but... We're going to let it sit here a little bit, it, unless it moves, or does it move, if it doesn't, I want to get up towards the top of the moon where the craters are. Now, like I said, this is a, a six millimeter lens. 